Hi there, Jean Greer here at Stylish Fireplaces. Today I want to introduce you to a patio heater that will heat up your backyard or your patio without heating up the planet. So I'm looking here at the Dimplex Infrared Ceramic Glass Electric Indoor-Outdoor Heaters. That's a mouthful, but basically what you see here is a patio heater that can also be installed indoors as it is here in our showroom. The first thing you're going to notice about it is how gorgeous it is. So a lot of outdoor heaters are very industrial looking. This is not that look at all. You see that sleek black shot Nextrema ceramic glass cover. So very much like the ceramic glass on top of your cooktop. And then the elements that do the heating are behind that glass. And make no mistake, although it is very sleek and beautiful, it is designed to be outdoors in the weather. So it can handle that and do a great job of it. So it really is a heater that can be installed in the most beautiful of outdoor settings. So if you've been working on your outdoor room and you are concerned about having an ugly heater out there, this is a beautiful heater for you. And on some of the smaller sizes, you can actually buy a special kit to recess it if you wanted to. But otherwise, it has brackets that allow you to install it on the wall or on the ceiling. So mine is a 1500 watt, 120 volt unit. It is direct wired, but they've come out with a plug-in version of this unit. Now it would look a little bit different. It has a heat shield on it. It's not quite as sleek, so keep that in mind. And these aren't meant to be portable heaters, regardless of whether they plug in or direct wire. They are not meant to be portable. You're gonna mount it up high so that somebody can't accidentally reach up and touch it. I'm actually standing on a stool to get up close to it but it should be about eight feet off the ground or the floor so that somebody couldn't accidentally reach up and touch that element when it's on. Because if I turn it on, you'll see it gets hot, much like your stovetop again. So that is now a hot piece of glass and I'm getting the warmth of that heat radiating onto me. So sitting under a heater like this, this infrared glow, is very much like sitting in the sun's glow. So I'm gonna feel that heat on myself, on the objects around me, within the range of that heat lamp. And it's very much like sitting in the sun. So there might be a breeze here, but that glow doesn't go away. That heat from the heat lamp doesn't dissipate just because there's a breeze. It is gonna to continue to warm me up just like the sun would if you were outside sitting in the sun on a breezy day. Compare that to something like a propane heater. You've seen those with the propane tank in the bottom and the tower and the, and the heat coming out the top. If it's a bit breezy, it's gonna push that heat away from you. There isn't uh, the same glow coming from that. The heat is from the flame and it's being directed down to you with a bit of a cap on it. But it's, if there's a breeze, it's gonna blow away. This is gonna keep heating me regardless of what's going on in the air around me. I've got three heat settings, so I'm on low, medium, you'll see a little more glow, high, it gets pretty intense, I'm a little too close for that, so I'm going to turn it back down. And when it's off, of course, you just have the beautiful glass cover, and it's very discreet when it's tucked up under the uh, rafters or in an outdoor space. So you've got three sizes to choose from. Mine, like I said, is 1500 watts, 120 volts. The others are all 240 volts. They are direct wire. So there's an 1800 watt version, a 2200 watt version, and a 3000 watt version. They will heat up an area of from 75 to 100 square feet per heater, depending on which one you use. So you've got to plan out your space and think about how big your patio or your balcony or your deck might be and how many of these do you need scattered around to get heat in the whole area. One heater isn't gonna be enough for a giant patio, for instance. So you're gonna scatter them around as you would with any heater to make sure you're covered. And the beauty of these versus gas or propane, I've already talked about how the heat works, but if you're at all concerned with climate change and the carbon emissions and the greenhouse gas emissions that we all need to reduce in order to slow the rate of climate change, an electric heater has zero emissions. We're not burning any carbon here. We're not burning any fossil fuels. We're just connecting to electricity and heating up our spaces. 
With a patio heater that's fired by propane or natural gas, you're burning a fossil fuel. That means you're emitting greenhouse gases, and greenhouse gases are the cause of climate change. Governments around the world have committed to reducing their greenhouse gas emissions, and they've set targets at the UN Climate Change Conference COP26, you've heard of the Paris Accord, and our own government here in Canada has just recently released the 2030 Emissions Reduction Plan. All of these are calling for us to use less fossil fuels so that we can eliminate or reduce those carbon emissions and greenhouse gas emissions that are causing climate change. So if you want to continue to enjoy your outdoor spaces, you need to swap out those gas and propane heaters for something like this that is powered by electricity and continue to enjoy your outdoors without damaging the outdoors and contributing to climate change. If you want to learn more about these heaters specifically, you can go to stylishfireplaces.ca search by brand, look for Dimplex and scroll down to our electric heaters. You can also read more about this on our stylish blog at stylishfireplaces.ca.